Michael Cohen heads back to the stand this morning and could face cross-examination today. But Fox News contributor Jonathan Turley says Cohen has already bombed his testimony, writing as follows, quote, Cohen has offered nothing new and more importantly, nothing to make the case for Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg. The problem is that Cohen only confirmed that Trump knew he was going to pay for the non-disclosure agreement and that it would be buried before the election. None of that is unlawful. End quote. And here's Turley going even further. There is an insufficiency of evidence here. No crime has been shown. I don't even know what the theory is anymore. So he's trying to find a way to give Bragg just enough to get to the jury. And Bragg hopes that a motivated jury and a motivated judge is all he needs. Absolutely is the Florida Attorney General, and she joins us now. Attorney General, good morning to you. Good morning. Great Good to morning. be with you. Absolutely. So to review what we learned yesterday, Michael Cohen uh, says that he paid Stormy Daniels out of his own pocket. Trump knew about it, and Trump wanted to bury the Stormy story until after the election. But Jonathan Turley is saying all of that is well and good, but none of it's illegal. Do you agree with that? You know, look, this trial has been problematic from the beginning because you have to show that the defendant intended to falsify business records and then intended to do that to cover up a crime. And I think all along, pundits, legal experts, other lawyers, judge, former judges like me, former prosecutors, kept watching every witness with anticipation, okay, maybe today is the day that Alvin Bragg's gonna make his case. And there are so many holes they have failed to do that. In fact, even as Cohen testified yesterday, and remember, this is a convicted liar, it, through the entire testimony, he kept having to say, well, that was a lie when I said that, or that was a misstatement, of a false statement when I said that. I mean, the whole testimony, he had to clarify what was a lie and what wasn't. As a former prosecutor, I can tell you that's a horrible place to be. And there was nothing that came out that would fill the gaping holes that this case had. And I'll guarantee you the strategy was, let's just wait till the end to call Cohen because we can get him to say anything and try and fill in any holes that we have in this case. The problem is they haven't fulfilled that estimation. And, you know, it's, it's a high likelihood that when the defense moves, uh, to, to, to make sure that this never even gets to a jury, finding that all of the evidence presented, even in the light most favorable to the prosecution, a reasonable juror could not convict that the evidence hadn't been presented. It's a likelihood that that's going to be presented to the judge. And so, yeah, it's going to hang on this judge, which we've shown that, that there's things in this judge's past that call that, that could call that his uh, unbiased Crime. nature into question. And certainly we've got these agenda-driven prosecutors. Yeah. It, it That's also like a problem. Their whole case is trying to prove this existence of an NDA. That's not in dispute. It's like me trying to establish a case that Carly's wearing a green dress. It's a green dress. That is not in dispute. So what do they have? There was also this moment yesterday that lawyers across the world are like, what? Cohen, Michael Cohen, <clears throat> secretly admits, or admits to secretly recording his client, Donald Trump, discussing payments in the lead up to the 2016 election. Listen to this. I need to open up a company for the transfer of all of that info regarding our friend David, you know, so that I'm going to do that right away. I've actually come up and, I've spoken, to me, and I've spoken to Alan Weisselberg about how to set the whole thing up uh, with so what are we going to think? Funding. Uh, yes. How do you think that's going to play with the jury, Ashley? Him secretly tape recording his client. Look, as a former prosecutor, you put witnesses on the stand and you do that hoping that the jury believes they're credible. This guy said he secretly recorded his client. He said that he had lied and bullied on multiple occasions. He had to point out where things were false. He said he was delusional at one point during the trial. I mean, this guy is the least credible witness that any prosecutor would ever want on the stand. This happens to be their key witness their critical witness in the case. And look, if you're Alvin, Alvin Bragg right now, I, there's every lawyer, every judge across this country is going, man, that guy may have just suborned perjury just to get a political kill. Mm. Yeah, and two of the jurors are lawyers listening to a, a secret recording that a lawyer recorded of their client. Don't so do that, yeah. you have to wonder what's going through their minds as they hear that secret recording as well. Attorney General Ashley Moody, thank you so much for joining us. Great All to right. be with you. Good to see you. 
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.